So I had a great comment on my YouTube channel the other day that I just answered this morning, and I thought it could be a really helpful thing for me to talk about in one of my videos. So why waste time? Let's do it right now. So first off, just know that when you walk into a hot tub showroom and you deal with a hot tub salesperson, they're gonna kind of walk you through the whole process. They are commission based in many cases and in probably in most cases. So they do have an incentive to make sure you don't walk out the door without buying a hot tub, just like a car dealership. But they are gonna help you out and walk you through every step of the way from setting up the delivery to arranging an electrician to connect your hot tub and everything else that it entails. They'll also be able to sell you things like the hot tub chemicals and kind of walk you through how to get your water set up and all of that kind of stuff. So if you've never owned a hot tub before and you know nothing about them and you want to just kind of have your hand held through that process, and I don't mean that in a demeaning way whatsoever, going to a hot tub showroom, a hot tub dealer, can be a great way to go. It can also be a more expensive way to go too though. And I do have another video where I talk about the best time of year to buy a hot tub. And in that video, I am talking specifically about hot tub dealers, hot tub showrooms, because there is definitely a better time of year than any other to buy a hot tub that way. Buying one at Costco or someplace like that, not gonna make any bit of difference whatsoever. But you're gonna wanna see that video if you're considering buying a hot tub at a showroom or from a dealer. So I'll link to that down below and have a card for it at the end of this video. But let's keep going talking about the difference between buying a hot tub at a showroom and buying one say online or from a place like Costco. So when you buy a hot tub from a place like Costco or Sam's or on Amazon, typically they're going to deliver it curbside, deliver it to the front of your street basically, setting it just on inside of the curb from the road. They're not gonna deliver it all the way back to your yard, wherever you plan to have your hot tub. So that's the first hurdle you're gonna have to come across. It's probably gonna be delivered in a big box on a pallet and set there by the trucking crew, and then they're gonna drive away after they've gotten your signature. That's it. You're gonna have to figure out how to move it from that point curbside to wherever you want it. In my case, this hot tub is way at the back of the yard, hundreds of feet. I also have it on a deck, so I would have had to have figured out how to get it up onto the deck as well. Luckily, this hot tub was here when I bought this house, so I didn't have to mess with that. But if you're buying it from a place like Costco, that's a problem you're gonna have to figure out. Hot tubs empty don't weigh nearly as much as when they're full of water and people, but they can still weigh hundreds and hundreds of pounds, maybe even a thousand pounds. And that's a lot of weight. It's gonna take several people to move in most cases. I have seen people move a hot tub this size with just two people. It was kind of an amazing thing to watch. I bought a used hot tub at my last house and I paid a moving company to move it from the place I bought it to my house. And luckily they only charged $350 to do that. And it was amazing to watch two guys and they had a heavy duty kind of plastic sheet thing that had a handle on one end that they set the hot tub on upright and then they just drug it across the yard with that thing, just two people. So do know that you can hire people to move that hot tub for you and probably in most cases, three to $500 is about right for that service. The next thing you'll have to figure out is how to get electricity to your hot tub. There are two different kinds of hot tubs like a so-called portable hot tub comes in. One is called a plug and play style where it just plugs into an electrical outlet. Chances are you're gonna have an electrical outlet within 15 feet of where you're planning to put the hot tub and that's the typical length for a cord on a plug and play hot tub. The other way to hook it up is how mine is hooked up. I have mine hooked up to a disconnect box which is about five feet away from the hot tub and then that is run to the main breaker panel on the outside of my house. That is not something that most of us are gonna be able to do ourselves, so we're gonna to have to hire an electrician to do that for us. I've paid uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of $700 to have that done, but I didn't have an open spot in my breaker panel, which is why it costs so much money. In many cases, you'll probably be able to get that service for somewhere between three and $500 if you have an open breaker spot in your main panel. 
that makes it a whole lot easier on their end. They just have to run a disconnect box and then run a conduit to your breaker panel and put in a new breaker. So do expect to have that expense if you're doing it from the big box places like Costco or Sam's Club. You'll still have to have that done no matter where you buy your hot tub from, but if you're buying it from a dealer, they're gonna help get that set up for you. And depending upon the price you negotiated, that may be even included in the service and the price that you're paying them. So I've already talked about the two big differences in buying a hot tub, either at a place like Costco or a place like a hot tub dealer. You're gonna get it delivered curbside if you buy from Amazon or Costco, and the hot tub dealer is going to arrange for delivery exactly on your site, all the way exactly where you want your hot tub. That's the first key difference. The second one is they're gonna help arrange for an electrician to get your hot tub hooked up, unless it's the kind that just plugs into a standard wall outlet, a plug and play hot tub, also called a 110 volt hot tub. Those are the two biggest differences between buying it from a hot tub showroom and buying it from a place like Costco. But there are some other factors you wanna think about as well. Next is warranty service. How are you, if you have a hot tub problem, something breaks, you have a leak, and your hot tub is under warranty, it's gonna be very easy to call up that dealer that's down the street from you and say, hey Jim, I have a problem with my hot tub leaking. Can you please arrange for service? And I'm, my hot tub is still under warranty. If you're buying it from Costco or Amazon, that's a lot more complicated. Chances are a place like Amazon is not going to do anything and they're gonna refer you to the manufacturer, which could be somebody in China. Uh, you just don't know. And probably the same kind of scenario goes with Costco. So you're gonna be a lot more on your own if you're buying it from a place like Costco or Amazon than you are if you're buying it from a dealer, uh, especially a reputable dealer that's been around for a long time and you're gonna have a relationship with that person, that salesperson that sold you the hot tub. That's definitely worth considering, it's worth something. It's not worth paying thousands of dollars more because in most cases, you're never gonna have to file a warranty claim, but it is worth a little bit. And so you're gonna wanna think about that, especially if you have no DIY experience, you have no knowledge of how to fix or repair hot tubs. I can tell you that I used to not have any of that either, and I've figured it out along the way, mostly because it is kind of hard to find someone to work on a hot tub. At my last house, I wanted someone to replace the equipment, the heater, the pump, the blower. I was willing to pay probably $1,000 for that. Most places I called would not even consider talking to me because I didn't have an in-ground hot tub. They only wanted to work on in-ground hot tubs and not this kind, which is called a portable hot tub. I did find one company that said they would, and after the third missed appointment, I just gave up on them, said, you know what, I'm gonna figure out how to do this myself, and it was surprisingly easy. But if you don't ever wanna mess with that and you just wanna be able to pick up the phone anytime there's a problem, getting a hot tub from a dealer is probably the way you're gonna to wanna to go. And now the million dollar question. How much are you gonna spend on a hot tub when you get it at Costco or Amazon or someplace like that compared to buying it from a hot tub dealer? Of course, as you might suspect, you are gonna pay more buying it from a hot tub dealer. This hot tub was here when we bought the house. It's from Master Spa and it's their Twilight series. It's probably approaching 10 years old. Uh, but I'm guessing the previous owners of this house probably paid between $10,000 and $12,000 for it. It's a pretty nice hot tub and it's held up extremely well. So I do think very highly of Master Spas, the company that makes this. Now, if I was gonna walk into a, a Costco or look on Amazon for a hot tub, I can find hot tubs between two and $4,000. In fact, probably the most you're gonna see a hot tub for on those places is probably six to $8,000. So you can definitely get a far less expensive hot tub buying that way than walking into a dealer. In many cases, it's just not worth it for a dealer to sell a hot tub off their showroom floor for two or $3,000. They pay a lot of rent on, on that showroom. They've got commissioned salespeople that they have to pay. They've got other overhead and expenses. So it's just not worth it, even though typically a hot tub dealer is gonna probably have a 100% markup. So that hot tub that they have on the showroom, that's $8,000, they probably bought it for $4,000. That's kind of how that works. 
Uh, but like I said, there is a best time of year to buy a hot tub from a dealer. And so look for that video link at the end of this video and in the description down below. But there are some, some significant savings to be had by buying a hot tub at Costco or on Amazon, someplace like that. You can probably get a good quality hot tub the same size as this for probably between four and $6,000 that way. You probably can't get it for that little buying it from a dealer. So that's the biggest difference on that end of the spectrum. So once again, I just wanna quickly sum up what we're talking about here. So if you're the kind of person that just wants to walk into a dealer, pick one out, have them arrange everything from delivery to the exact spot you want your hot tub to getting it connected electrically and you want to be able to just pick up a phone and call them anytime you have a problem and money is not really a, a huge object, then buying from a hot tub dealer is definitely the way you're going to want to go. If on the other hand you have a limited budget and maybe you're a little bit handy, you do a little bit of DIY work around the house, then you're definitely gonna to wanna to consider buying a hot tub from someplace like Costco or Amazon or some other online retailer like that. You'll definitely save a lot of money, uh, probably thousands of dollars doing it that way. You're just gonna to have to do a little bit of the grunt work yourself. You're gonna to have to arrange for moving the hot tub from the curb where they're probably gonna deliver it to where you're gonna have the hot tub. And then you're gonna to have to arrange for an electrician to wire it up for you unless you're getting a plug and play hot tub that plugs into a standard outdoor GFCI grounded outlet. But those are the two extremes. You've gotta decide which way is best for you and the, and the kind of person you are and how much free time you have and how much disposable income you have. Ultimately, it's hard to say conclusively which way is the right way to go. For me, I've owned four hot tubs. This one was here when we bought the house. At our last house, I bought a used one very inexpensively and fixed it up myself. Uh, it's still working great at that house. The other two times I bought the hot tubs brand new from a dealer. But knowing what I know now, I would probably buy from a place like Costco uh, or some online retailer where I knew I could get a rock bottom price because I'm not that worried about finding somebody that can move it from the curb to my site. And I'm not that worried about finding an electrician that can hook it up. And I'm not that worried about fixing it if I have minor problems or, or breaks or leaks or things like that. But you might be totally different. So you've got to answer those questions for yourself. So once again, everyone, my name is Jeff Campbell. This is my channel, Hot Tub Owner HQ. I also have my website, hottubownerhq.com. And if you own a hot tub, if you're about to buy a hot tub, I guarantee you're gonna find answers to problems that you're having right here on my channel or on my website. So make sure and smash that subscribe button and the bell notification button too. That way you get notified of future videos that I put out. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up for this video too. I hope you liked it. And giving me a thumbs up is a great way not only to tell me that you liked it, but it signals YouTube that this is a decent video that other hot tub owners just like you need to find. And I will see you in the next video.